Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Uh, ignore my hair, it keeps popping up, the wind's being annoying. I'm back at the trail. The trail. Uh, if you've watched Zach Jim's official, my old channel with my mates, you'll know this place. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know this place. Um, also, just quickly before the video starts, um, I have moved all my uh, biking videos over to my gaming channel and changed it all, so I'm now on my old gaming channel, what it used to be. I just sort of started the gaming channel and then got burnt out with it, so I'm going to stick with biking now, so if you, if you want to, I'm just trying to do it, but I'm doing biking now, so it's just what it is. So let's give a quick tour of the trail and uh, go for what we're going to start doing. Also, sorry for the wind, it's, it's, it's a pain, I know. So, up here, this is the top, we've got a nice sort of flat area up here, this is sort of like the drop-in area, so you roll down this, well, there's a couple leaves, um, then you hit this first roller, which is a bit of an angle, hit this massive roller, come around this massive berm, and then down here we've got a bit of a bomb hole, uh, this bit always floods, so, and then we've got this takeoff here. Um, it's a step up, a, a jump, it used to be like hollow in the middle, it's, it keeps changing. Um, and then you go around there, small jump, small berm around there, another little jump, and then you go up a bit of a quarter pipe to the top. Um, this track has actually been around for a, at least 40 years, we think. So, this has just sort of been built on a lot more in the past couple of years. But, um, yeah, so we're going to start coming at it again and hopefully get it all sorted for the summer. So we've got to clear out all these leaves, get this bomb hole sorted, because we've tried to make a bit of drainage system. This used to be like the big reservoir where all the water would flow to. We want to try and change that, because we want to make a path that comes a bit, it used to come down here already, but come up here and then have a bit of a step up here into a nice trail that goes down there. So we're going to get started and just start clearing up some of the leaves in this bomb hole. And I think we're going to dig a new drainage reservoir in that corner around there. So let's get to it. Okay, so, um, sorry for that time lapse being in portrait, um, I'm, I'm not with it today, uh, but great success, we've, we've cleared pretty much all of it. Um, this section down here, because this bit sort of floods, that's why we had a bit of a trench going through to this sort of reservoir area, but um, yeah, so that's, that's all sort of sludgy clay, which has been like really hard to shift, like if I, like yeah, you, you slip on it a lot. However, around here, this is looking really nice. Um, so I think all this yellow stuff is sort of like clay, sort of sand. Because when, we, when we've been down here before, we was a lot younger then, but we had to bring down a pickaxe because it was, it was just so hard. We used to like mine it all out of here. It's a little quarry area or something. And then it just sort of fills up with water, and then you're left with it. So we're going to try ride it. Never mind, I'm not going to try ride it because I just realised that that's all down there. Um, or I might, I might run around the burn quickly and then come up the top. I'll show you that. See how, see how fast I can go. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so that wasn't really a full speed run. Oh, I keep making excuses on this channel, um, but yeah. So I. I kind of had to put my helmet on and rushing it but that's about basically what it will look like so now I think I'm gonna get rid of all this these leaves down here in this sort of bomb hole so I can uh, ride it hopefully clear that jump as well so sort of progress around the uh, track so this is obviously gonna be episode one I guess this might just be leaf clearing I don't know we might start digging the new reservoir but we'll see let's go I've cleared out this bomb hole um, done a bit of a pile over there it's it's flooded um so if i give you a bit of an insight obviously this was like the main where we kept all the water really i tried to dig another little pit there to connect to it as like an overflow thing and then down here off the side of this ramp uh we've got sort of a pipe that goes well it's not really a pipe it's just a trench that goes along there into here that all this is meant to flow out into 
see all that's clogged and there's leaves there now. So uh, I'm going to start digging out this drainage system. And I think just about there I'm going to start digging out a nice fat hole. Okay, so I've dug it. Well, it's not completely done yet, obviously, but so here's obviously the drain. There's there's a pipe sort of trench that goes through there and up to there, like a Y shape. There used to be a hole here. I mean, it's yeah, it is actually holding water still, I think. If I just grab the shovel, let me stick that in there. It goes pretty deep, and there's there's a lot of water in there under these leaves. So. Uh, that's good, and then we've got maybe a foot and a half deep hole here. So I've sort of been digging a line, digging it out, digging it out, digging it out, scooping it all out, and then going like that. I've got this weird wooden thing. It's like a one of those like flaky wooden pallet things on the side there that I can't really get out. Other than that, I think we've got a small route that goes across there, so I'm going to have to sort that out. But it's getting along, and uh, I can't time lapse anymore because I was time lapsing on my phone. And it's almost dead, so uh, I'm sure I finish digging this off and then you'll see. Right, here we are. I present to you Big Hole. It's maybe, I don't know, two, two and a half feet down now. Uh, but this is the only reason this trail is good in the summer, because this yellow stuff. And it's literally maybe a feet, foot or two under. And you get that. It's crispy, clean, and like just beautiful. So when, when you, uh, it's nice because when you come in here, right, you can stick your shovel on the side there. As you push down, it's going to be really hard one-handed. It just flakes away and it's, it's more of a, a shaving, it's more shave. There we go, there's a nice flaky section. I'll try and get it nice and close. There we go. So it's nice because now you've got this nice powder in small chunks that you can spread everywhere on the trail and it spreads so evenly and packs evenly as well. And that's why we've used it as most of the top layer for most of this trail. Um, yeah, I've also decided to keep this uh, route in, partly because obviously it helps the ground keep nice and together and not fall apart. And also because uh, it's not focusing. Um, keeps the ground nice and nice solid and also it will uh, it's, it's more effort to get it out than in basically why, why are we not focusing I don't like this camera but yeah so it's it's staying in there's also one little outcrop of a route there so it comes around there but it is what it is we're almost there so once I've done this I reckon I'm just gonna sort of connect it to there sort of through this little hole and through there is a little sort of trench and then uh, that might be it but we'll see okay right other update um so i'm up top on the on top of the jump now that square thing down there i think there's another one over there uh but they're, they're they were the little wooden things sticking out the side so i've got the holes still there and um i've started digging a bit of a sort of trench to an existing hole that was about that size but it was there so it could drain the stuff out of there into there um so i'll hop down here and show you so that was about the same size and i started digging the trench um we maybe half a foot deep on the trench at the minute and then hopefully that's going to connect we'll have one massive probably like 12 foot long by three foot wide uh sort of hole really that um, everything can drain into and then obviously we can open that up let everything in and uh, yeah so uh, I'm just gonna try and get a bit of a time lapse of the GoPro see how that works and then we'll go
Right, so, uh, this is it for today. I think I'm gonna stop here. I've done a bit more, as you can see. So the hole's pretty deep, and now, if we hop inside, you can see that was all sort of level. And now we've we've dug out quite a lot of that. I can now uh, I can now crouch down under the hole completely, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I've started sort of doing this bit deeper, and then I'm going to cut that in later once it's a bit wider. And then yeah, that'll be that. That wooden thing's coming into use now. We can step over this sort of really like these leaves. When you step in them, you sort of sink because uh, it used to be a ditch there. Um, but I'm going to stop there because it's now half, well, 20 to 4. And it gets dark just after 4, I think. I don't know. Either way, I, I want to go home now. Um, it's, yeah, I'm cramping up every time I move my arms now. So even if I even if I go like that a bit, I cramp up. But I think I'm going to try and get a little riding clip, maybe, going around, see what I can do. Um, I want to try and jump this jump, but then there's a puddle. So I might try and, like, veer off to the right or something. We'll see how it goes, I'll get the chest rig on.